Sag, what's going on, Sagittarius? How are you guys? I hope y'all had a great, well, let's see, we're in a new weekend, or we're in a new week now. Jeez, okay. Um, I missed you guys. <laughs> I've been away for a little while. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend and you're doing very well. We get starting off good. Hang on one second. Your energy is very, very palpable today. So I can see that a lot is already going on. The song that started coming through at the end of your meditation also was Phil Collins. It was, uh, I don't care anymore. And that's actually the way it started. I don't care anymore. That was the lyric that came through very, very pronounced. So I know that a lot is coming on. Yeah, I'm getting something right now. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to get a lot of downloads with you. I definitely feel like somebody has given up on something or ready to squash something in some way. Let's just go ahead and jump in and see what this is because it is coming through quite strong. Okay, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to start with an overall energy for you guys today. I'm thinking about those lyrics, so let me see. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't care anymore. I don't care what you say. I never played, oh wow, I never played the same games that you play. I won't be there anymore, so get out of my way. Wow, okay, so what is this? It's interesting because as I say those lyrics, that kind of sounds like it's leaving someone or maybe some person, but I don't know. I almost feel just with the strength of the energy, like this could be leaving a lot behind or maybe just changing yourself completely, right? So... I'm no longer doing that. I'm no longer that person. I'm no longer taking this kind of shit from people. It's something along those lines. I have no idea where this is going, but it's a very palpable and powerful kind of energy that's coming through because I do think somebody is really shifting not only who they are, but their mindset. And, and to be fair, I feel like this is the accurate state of being for you. It's almost like somebody needs to be in that space, you know, assessing almost an anger because that's kind of what it feels like. Um, that energy of just being fed up so that you'll actually do what needs to be done. So maybe you do need to cut some energy, maybe some people, maybe even a job, something to kind of set you free. Hang on one second. Your overall energy. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say so. So your overall energy today is the emperor. So you are definitely taking charge, getting in control. Look what's on the bottom. The devil. Wow. Okay. So you might be breaking away from people that you feel like have been very negative uh, for you. This could be people that were very toxic, maybe in a sense. <clears throat> I feel like because this person is actually in a jar, maybe these are people that made you feel smaller than you actually are. Maybe they try to keep you, hold you back, hold you down in some way as well. This was their own toxic energy. So in essence, say that you went to somebody and you were, you know, maybe you told them of your plans or perhaps, you know, you, you told them of some of your aspirations or something. This could be as simple as having people around you, even family members or someone being like, ah, oh, you don't want to do that though, or that's too out there. You need to do something, you know, here that's sustainable, like work at a store or, you know, something along those lines. I feel like you definitely have had the wrong people. I shouldn't say the wrong, oh, no, I do feel like a lot of them have been the wrong people, but I also feel people with very limited kind of mindsets around you as well. Okay, oddly enough, I also feel like there is some kind of addiction surrounding this card very heavily. I don't know why. So maybe this is, <clears throat> this could have just simply been projection too from people who are heavy in their own addictions as well, but certainly very limiting kind of mindsets here. Heavy, heavy protection. Uh, projections around your energy today for some reason. I don't know if people don't want to see you get ahead. This is kind of terrible, but it, I mean, it is what it is. People are people, right? What are you going to do? Um, what matters here is what you think. And so I'm, I'm going to kind of lean on that a little bit more than focusing on this because I definitely feel like you have some detractors here very heavily in your energy currently for some reason. It seems very heavy. So maybe you are doing something. Maybe you're making some kind of leap. And maybe that's why this song was coming through. I don't care anymore. It's like, I, I'm done listening to other people. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, I'm going to do what suits me and what makes me happy in my life. I also think there is a sense of you recognizing 
others for for what they are and maybe even what they're doing okay the emperor is a very strong card the emperor is not going to take any crap they know what they're doing um they can be in a kind of a controlling energy which is good like i said before i think this is like the accurate state of being for you to be in this time because you need to be taking control because you're shifting you're making some kind of change here so it's going to take this attitude look at this and courage okay the card of courage came out okay so you, I think you're in this very courageous kind of energy. And so if you have a little bit of anger with that at the time or, or a bit of a, I don't give a shit kind of, you know, attitude, I think that that's okay for this particular, it's always okay, but, you know, for this particular uh, scenario, I feel like it's going to take that. Look at that. You can't make this up. Creativity. All right. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're shifting into, it may be opening you up to some kind of creative project here. I'm already feeling money around this. So... I feel like whatever it is, it's going to bring some kind of financial gains for you as well. It will take courage because I think it's going to require some kind of change for you as well. Look, you can't make it up. Growth of energy. Yeah, it's going to require some kind of change for you as well. So things are speeding up for you. So the fact that you are kind of throwing down the gauntlet, leaving things behind, uh, people behind, things behind... Um, I keep going back to people for some reason. I think it's more, it's behaviors. You know what I'm saying? Negativity, not worrying about that anymore. Just kind of taking control and marching forward. That's going to help you. I just talked about, it's going to bring some kind of financial gains too. And you're already seeing this growth of energy as well. It's surrounding you. It's there literally supporting you. Whatever this creative endeavor is, you must have some kind of ability or something that you do. I say ability, of course you do, but something that you're doing that could be highly creative. Maybe somebody has noticed that you could be doing it on your own, but I feel like you may have someone who's coming in, even when I see growth of energy for some reason, that could be coming in to assist you in some way, shape, or form, or to try and help you. Somebody's observing you, is what I feel. Look at this. Good luck on the bottom. Whatever this is, and then I told you, change. Whatever this is, it's going to bring you, whatever this change is, it's going to bring you like a lot of good luck. It could also put you in some kind of leadership position as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're leading others in terms of like management or something like that. But if you're doing something, say online or something, I feel like you're going to have people that are following you. They could be learning from you. This could be in your own business as well. I don't know why I just got nutritional counseling that literally just came out of the left field here. Some people may be doing that. It may have something to do with the body. It could have something to do with improvements in the body, the mind, you know, it could be spiritually as well. Um, something along those lines. Yeah. There's a lot of divine guidance. I feel like that you're getting at this particular time on what to do. But again, I'm going to go back to, your attitude in all of this and kind of where you're at. I don't think you're going to carry that attitude into everything. I think you need it right now to make a shift. All right. I do want you to make sure that you're listening to your divine guidance. Maybe you have some kind of magical power here. Okay. Or something that you do. All right. That is going to assist you or help you. Or this could very well just be spirit saying, listen, I don't think you understand how magical you are and how influential you are. So definitely pay attention to that. But I'm going to go back to the divine guidance. I want you to really pay attention to that because I think these people that or whomever this is, this energy that's around you that seems to be trying to distract you, I think they don't want you to see this. And so it is important. It's almost like you're being pushed internally to go just cut this off so that you can recognize what is coming for you. It is coming most definitely. And I honestly, I'm feeling uh, July, maybe August at the latest. Something big is about to happen in your life, but you need to be prepared for it. Okay. And I was just told you need to be ready to move. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if you're physically moving or if they want you to move on whatever this change or this shift is going to be for you. Okay. So let's keep going. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with some tarot here for my Sagittarius spirits. Let me resonate. And Venus, by the way, guys, uh, only take what resonates. Okay. <laughs> As always. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. This is definitely a general reading. Some may resonate, some may not. All may resonate, all may not. All okay. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Venus signs. Okay. What do we have here for Sagittarius? What is this? 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. You've been through it. No wonder you're cutting people out. And you could be pissed off and fighting mad right now at this particular time. You are. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> wow, Sag. Okay, I have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Judgment card. We definitely have something going on. I want you to really pay attention to this card, though. So you have definitely been, you you know that you have detractors. Look at this five of swords. You could be angry about this, okay? You could be pissed off. This is, I don't care anymore, okay? We never played by the same rules anyway, you know? You know that this person's been playing a lot of games or maybe these people have been playing a lot of games with you. You're done with that. Maybe you feel like you were wounded by that. Honestly, that's not what I'm getting. You notice there's a, look at that on the head, on the forehead here, okay? We can see that Sag energy, but... Here's the thing with this and this nine of wands. I feel this is telling me this is you being resilient. I'm mad as hell. I'm moving away from this. Okay. I'm ready for some kind of shift, some kind of change. I'm just cutting this out. I'm saying no to this. And I want you to look at this card. If this does not tell the story, I don't know what does. Can you see that hand coming down from heaven and pulling you up? Okay. Look at that. I'm telling you, you're about to go through some kind of shift, some kind of major shift. Maybe whatever you have been through here, I know it's been very difficult, it seems like, probably complicated. It could have been a very long time. I don't, 10 to 12, I have no idea why I just got those numbers, but 10 to 12, it could be maybe 10 to 12 months, 10 to 12 years, 10 to 12 could be uh, relevant <clears throat> in some way for you. But you literally, I feel like you literally have spirit pulling you up here, taking you into a different time. This is also a time of awakening. You can see this person is actually awakening. That's what judgment is about as well. Okay. They're pulling you into the truth. You see the truth now. Okay. About a situation. You know that you have to make this cut in that energy for sure. If you want to get away, look at that. I'm telling you, you do. Okay, because it brings you nothing but strife, nothing but conflict there in that five of wands energy. Look at this. Yeah, you are highly intuitive here. You're highly intuitive. But what I'm really getting here is that there are changes that are coming that you do not even see. Okay, so you may not even be aware of what's about to jump into your sphere of existence at this time. Okay, somebody here has definitely tried to create some strife in your life. Obviously, a lot of illusions. They could have kept you under illusions. This is why spirit is obviously intervening at this time. I, I don't know why I'm feeling like this has been some kind of, like you had to go through this for some reason. Point of entry is not the right thing to say. I, you cannot make this up, okay? Something has happened here. And I really feel like you had to go through this. You were supposed to go through this. Maybe just for the, the learning value of it so that you can move forward. You know, maybe it was to break you out of patterns or to break you away from people that were keeping you very limited in your own life here. What you don't see is the star energy coming in. So you might be moving into a place here where you're being recognized at some level. I don't know if you're in a spotlight. You don't necessarily have to be. But I do think there's something that is happening here. I don't know if you are a healer. You could be healing others. Or this could also be a healing energy that's coming in for you. But I feel like based on, especially the starter cards here as well, you going into leadership role. It's based on your creativity, all of that. I feel like there's going to be some type of recognition that is coming from whatever move that is happening here. You know, if this is, a, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to step into the past just for a minute. If this was about uh, attacks in any way, okay, whether it be energetic or, you know, just, well, it's all energetic, I guess, to a certain extent, but people coming at you, trying to leave you, trying to keep you limited, something like that. I almost want to say, as terrible as it seems, it's almost like they did, this is what you needed. You, somebody may have felt stuck for a while. Okay, yeah. Somebody could have felt stuck for a while in a situation knowing that they were more, knowing that they needed more, that they really wanted more in their life, but they wasn't sure how to break free. Well, this is doing it, I feel like, for you. So whatever has happened here, it really has made you search, I think, a lot. And maybe also commune with Source quite, quite a lot here to get the answers that you need. That's what I feel. So you are putting that to bed. You need to probably look up those lyrics. I'm not, I don't know if it's Phil Collins actually or Genesis because he did have like a band. But I know the song is I Don't Care Anymore. I'm trying to see if I can get any more of the lyrics. 
don't want me there anymore. Get out of my way. Let me buy. I've got better things to do with my time. I don't care anymore. I don't care now what you say every day. I'm doing fine by myself. Yeah, you're definitely, this is, I, I don't know if this is family or something. I definitely feel like this is something that you were breaking away from. It's like, I know who I am now. Okay, I don't believe in this lie anymore. I'm not going to be held back anymore. I know what I'm capable. There's a lot of that coming through. I don't know if somebody was trying to tell you you weren't good enough or you weren't capable or something or you couldn't achieve something. A lot of that is coming through. But I feel like you're a star. Okay, and this means that you, of course, you have a lot of goodness in you. I feel like maybe great thing, not maybe, I feel like great things will be achieved. That's what it looks like. Okay, some kind of star energy that is coming through here. Maybe you're made to be seen or perhaps be um, recognized in some way, shape or form here as well. All right, let me keep going. Spirit, what is this about? Let's look at this. What is this Five of Swords energy, please, for Sagittarius? Yeah, look at this. Somebody was trying to interfere with your work or something, okay? Whatever you wanted to do, that could be a creative nature. That could be some contract that you were meant to fulfill here in some way. Let's look at this Nine of Wands energy. Looks like somebody could have been trying to create some kind of conflict to hold you back. Wow. But you are resilient and the will is now turning in your favor. Look, I'm telling you, something is coming in quite quickly here. This is all about good luck, okay? Um, this is about achieving things, success, okay? Turning things in the right direction. Mm, okay, what else for judgment, please? Sagittarius. Look at that, yep. This is why you're being pulled out. Look at this. They could have had you in a place and maybe feeling just stressed the hell out, okay? There could have been some nightmares there, but honestly, it just looks to me like a lot of anxiety could have been going on based on whatever this situation has been. This is why we see the hand of God basically just coming down and pulling you up, right? Okay, time to wake up. Try, time to see what's around you. Time to get out of this energy, okay? Enough has been done here. We're moving forward. Let's look at this. Five of Wands, please, Spirit. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's that ending. An end to conflict. Okay, it's laying on top of the Five of Wands. The world card, we're ending this cycle. It's time for fresh energy to come in for something new to begin for you. Look at this. Yeah, the Nine of Coins. What you're not seeing is all of this abundance that is coming to you. You're standing on your own. You're the nine of coins. Okay, this is pre-empress energy. You're birthing something new into being. You're quite successful on your own. You're highly creative. Okay, you could be recognized again in some sense here. You may work alone or choose to work alone. And, and honestly, that does happen sometimes, especially obviously if you're in the emperor energy as well. It just shows me that you have taken control and you're totally fine kind of working alone to get things done as well. All right, let's look at the star energy spirit. Star energy for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and you're protected. I really feel like you're standing your ground right now. So whatever it is, you're working alone. It seems to be highly creative. Um, you you are establishing a lot of, it looks like, uh well, definitely prosperity in some way. But this is also a card. When I say the nine of coins, I always think about somebody who is just happy within themselves. I'm just happy doing what I'm doing. Oh, think about that lyric. Um, every day I'm feeling fine with myself. That's one of the lyrics, actually. Look that up. I'm feeling fine with myself. So I think that you're feeling that. If this is not here currently, like I said, this is coming up quite soon for you. You're going to feel really good about where you are, about what you've been able to achieve. Even just breaking away from this energy, I feel like completely is going to give you um, a sense of I've arrived in a sense, right? Because you're not being drugged down. You're not fighting battles all the time. This is all good towards the end. Look at this. Now, I think you're really standing your ground here when it comes to that. You will be protective over whatever this is that you're doing. And I, this is also telling me that you are protected. Okay. This is telling me that you're also being very protected. So whatever the star energy is, whatever this is, the shift, this change, this growth in your energy, this creativity that you're moving into is going to be highly protected is what I'm getting here. 
Okay, let's look at, I want to look at some of the um, animal oracles here. I'd like to see Sagittarius current energy, please, spirit. Man, I just had like a million cards flip. <laughs> let's try that again. Octopus is all about feeling your way through things, so you can be really empathic yourself. You got a, yeah, a nightingale. Can I have something to do with using your voice for something? I don't know if you're a singer or if you're using your voice to perhaps help other people. Look at this. is This is so interesting. The hyena is coming out in reverse as well. Yeah, you're definitely not. Whoa, protective. Wow. This is basically reiterating what the cards are saying here. So Whatever the star energy is doing, it might have you kind of commanding other people using your voice in some way. Again, it could be singing or speaking or some kind of, I don't know, communication of some sorts, okay? Whatever it is, I feel like you have a commanding presence as well for some reason here. With a hyena, though, here in reverse, if you were, I don't know, if you felt like you had to be very insular for a while here or you couldn't, maybe you were trying to take care of some things. Maybe this was part of your shift, your changes as well, being pretty isolated. Um, this is in reverse now. So this definitely tells me that you're coming out of that energy as well. You might also be shifting, honestly, out of an energy that it, you know, maybe you were in that energy for some time period and it just continued to kind of linger around you. Okay, you're very, very protective and you're very protected here. Again, in this wolf energy, right? A wolf definitely protects their pack here. And then we have you in zebra, okay? So highly intuitive here. Yet again, following what you believe to be right for you, following that divine guidance that is around you, really tapping into that magical um, essence that you are. We see the zebra is obviously different. You may stand out, okay, from others. You can see even the colors are quite different here, right? So you could stand out, all right? You could also could be a very intricate person. Yeah, that people just notice because you're a little bit different. But whatever you're doing that is different is going to bring you some kind of notoriety here, okay? Something about the way that you do things. And then we have the cosmic egg. Okay, I cannot think of a better outcome in terms of your own energy. The cosmic egg is actually attached to the crown chakra, okay? It definitely tells me that you're very tapped in, that you're receiving a lot of downloads but also that you're very much in tune with source okay that you're getting this divine guidance and you're actually moving on it okay maybe you felt like you were stuck before and this has helped you to kind of break away from that as well so there's definitely been some kind of self-realization that has happened within you sag that has helped you to really come out of this energy that's what i feel and now you're absolutely taking the lead here this is awesome good 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 for you i was going to get Honestly, I was going to get some archetype cards, but I don't think I will. I think this reading is pretty clear cut. I'm going to just get some last words here for Sagittarius, please. I may do a separate one for Sagittarius in love. I'll be honest, I don't know that that needs to be your focal point at this time. Definitely not if you're in this energy that I'm reading right now. I don't really think necessarily that needs to be your focal point. Create. You look. <laughs> All right, it's being said again, create. You're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now and it needs to be expressed in a bigger way. I'm telling you, something is happening with you. And I feel, I don't know if people are observing you, if you have one person observing you that wants to help because I did see, see you're also in Nine of Pentacles that so can be quite sovereign energy as well, working alone. But you definitely need to be focused on whatever it is that you're trying to create here, whatever you're trying to do, something about taking a step as well. That's what Emperor Energy is all about, right? It's about taking the lead, stepping into your power fully and just going with it. A lot of people think they have to have every detail in place. You don't have to have that. Look, it says, to t oh my gosh, Ash, this is crazy. Okay, Spirit, go ahead. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold too tightly to the desired uh, outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of the attachment to it. Okay, well, that could very well be this then. 
Maybe that goes back to what I was saying before about we think we have to have everything in place for it to happen. You know, if you've already put it out there to the universe, trust me, they are already orchestrating a way for this to happen. That's the way manifestation works, okay? Especially if you focus on it. But a lot of times if we spend all of our time focusing on something, all the fears come into play and it stops, okay? It stops the flow of things. So this is saying you put it out there, they got you, obviously, it's showing up all over your cards, just detach from it, okay? Some kind of healing could also be taking place here. Also, I feel like detach is about, well, I can't even say this is about the past because I feel like you're already doing that. The song was coming through loud and clear, I don't care anymore. So we have healing. Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. That could also be the star here. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. That could also be the card that we saw of judgment for the awakening, right? Complete transformation. Grounding. You're being asked to ground yourself. You've been spending a lot of time in your head and it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the center and feeling this brings. Okay, that's a very, very necessary part, especially if you're getting a lot of downloads as well. It helps you to really recognize your balance, okay, and be able to receive those without questioning a lot, okay? Keep your energy balanced. I'm sorry, grounded. And expand. You're being asked to expand. You live in a huge world and endless possibilities and staying safe is no longer, this is how the reading started, is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. Look, Sag, I don't know what's up with you. You're aligning with something very powerful is what I feel. And I, I feel like this could potentially... Uh, I don't know if it's going to change your life or something. I feel like it will, but I think your attitude right now, I don't care anymore what you say. I'm going to, I'm going to march to the beat of my own drum, get out of my way. That sort of thing is going to help you so much to break that past energy and move forward and really align with your purpose here. So, all right, Saj, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, Saj.